Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, I want to apologize because I know I haven't uploaded in two months. I haven't uploaded, to, to be honest, uh, because I've been lazy. I've been extremely busy. I need to organize my time better, be more proactive with my time so I can upload at least once a week. But that's enough apologies for today. I just got a haircut, as you can see. I'm here in my truck. I'm waiting for my son to get his haircut. And I thought I might as well make a video while I'm waiting for him in, in the truck. There's been a lot of changes, so I need to make uh, several videos to update you guys with, with my life. One of the new projects I'm actually doing right now is I spoke to my wife and we decided that we're gonna rent out our pool for get togethers and small parties. This is something that my family wanted to do before and I would always discourage them not to do it because of the liability. What I mean by the liability is that somebody can drown. You don't wanna be held responsible for something like this to happen in your property. Especially it's not a commercial property. You don't have commercial insurance. So if somebody drowns, I don't even want to think what would happen. I'm taking a little bit of risk. I was against doing this. A lot of people do it here in Laredo. Laredo is really hot. We're border with Mexico, south of Texas. We get triple digits, 100, 105, 110. Having a pool is a luxury. Not, not everybody can have it. I'm not bragging or anything, but I know it's something expensive. Not everybody can afford this. So several people have been renting their swimming pool here in Laredo and they usually charge between $200 and $400 a night, basically for four or five hours of renting it. It's a very good money maker. I've spoken to people that are making thousands of dollars a week by renting out their pool. Some people are even buying residential lots. See, they make like a shed or put a mobile home because they don't let you build a pool. You have a, a truck, a dwelling. So some people buy a lot, they put a mobile home, they start making the pool, then they remove the mobile home once they have the pool and they have electricity and they, they, they start renting it. It's something new, it's, it's something that I was completely against it, but I got encouraged to do it when I saw an app that's called Swimply. It's basically an app so you can rent out your pool. So I thought if an app exists to rent out their pool and there's houses with swimming pools that you can rent out for a day, I don't see why renting the swimming pool is really illegal. Those are the reasons why I decided to go for it. I had a, a gazebo made, a shade. It's 22 by 40. I had it made out of metal since it, it was a lot cheaper. I'm gonna put some ceiling fans and some lights under it so it can be a good area to chill out. I'm also getting rid of all the dirt on the back. So we threw concrete almost half of the property. Another issue with renting the pool is that we don't have, since I live in a, in a cul-de-sac, a parking lot space in the front. In the front, it's very thin and then starts to widen in the back of the lots of the property. So I, remove the grass in the front and i i'm sorry if i keep closing my eyes guys but the sun we threw concrete in the front so we made more parking space right now about eight cars fit in the front we also threw concrete inside the property in the backyard so if i wanted to we could park some cars there the gate entrance is very tight i try to put the truck in in there but it's very tight maybe small cars can be parked inside I, I i'm sure i can feel like maybe two or three cars inside i really don't want to because i don't want people to crash into my house so i'm just parking the eclipse in, in my house my utility trailer i'm parking it in my convenience store I'm, i just want to chain it up to a to a post so they won't they won't steal it and i think i'm gonna park it there because it's it's an 18 footer so it takes a lot of space so basically how we're handling right now we already have about three or four scheduled parties right now we're starting basically with friends and relatives we're not announcing it in facebook or in craigslist or in letgo or, or anywhere if they want to rent out their pool they pay a deposit they can be paying every week until the day of their party and we're charging 375 for weekends which is friday saturday sunday and during the week, we charge $300. Apart from that amount, we're charging a $75 deposit fee, refundable. So this fee is in case they break anything or, or if they leave the trash behind, if we have to clean up after them, we're not gonna refund their deposit. If they keep everything the way it was, we will return the $75. We're basically making $375, the weekends $300 during the week. The $75 are not for us to keep. And we're renting, the pool for five hours. I recommend between four or five and to end the party like at nine or 10 at night. 
we don't want to stay very late we don't want to bother the neighbors good thing that uh we also put cinder block fence almost around the whole property uh, almost around the whole backyard so it's a lot more private now but uh we still don't want to be bothering the neighbors i mean and this is for small get together small parties maybe parties of 20 25 people we're not renting 100 people they'll fit inside the 100 people will fit inside because I, i've done parties with 100 uh, relatives and, and they do fit inside we put a lot of tables in the backyard and they fit but the parking space is the issue behind my property there's a, a commercial building uh, there's a plaza uh, the bank owns it i went to speak to somebody in charge there i only got to speak to the secretary I asked him if I could do a small 36 inch gates on the back of my property. I only asked him about the gate. I didn't get to ask him if they would rent me some like four or five parking spaces because they have a lot of parking space that is, is just there and nobody uses it. So I think I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna ask if they would be willing to rent me maybe five, five or six parking spaces. We have eight in the front and, and maybe another six in the back. That should be more than enough, but uh, we'll see how it goes. There's also a park about a block away. There's a, there's a, a, a community park there. People can also park there, but they would have to walk. They, I mean, this is really not a business. We're, we're doing all these upgrades to, to our house for us, but people started asking us if, if we would rent it for Easter. And we got ourselves thinking, hey, maybe, I mean, maybe we can make some money off of it so I can pay my pool loan. I borrowed uh, $40,000 for the pool. Right now, I already paid $10,000, so I, I owe about 29, 29 some and change. I wanna pay that off as quickly as possible, so making some money off of, of renting the pool is, is, is not a bad I, idea. I'm, I'm looking so. into the Swimply app. I wanna get more information and maybe make another video on it once I get all the information. But as of now, just with friends and relatives, I think we'll be okay. We're, we're attaching a restroom to the exterior of our house so we added a restroom, indoor shower, and an outside shower also. And we're making a little pathway to the to the swimming pool. When they rent, they're gonna have the swimming pool, the shaded area, which is very large. They're gonna have a, a basketball court. They're gonna have a, an outside restroom with, with a sink, and then indoor and an outside shower. We're thinking maybe in the near future, once I get a little bit more money together to add in, an outside kitchen, I would like small fridge, a sink and a, a chimney outside under the gazebo but that will be in the near future right now uh, i already spent a lot of money i'll make another video how much i've spent but i spent uh, a lot of money and we also planted some palm trees and some plants and right now since about two or three months ago it was very cold here in laredo and almost all the palm trees and all, almost all the small plants froze and and it, it killed the plants so the plants went up in price a lot i don't know if they doubled but they went up a big increase so it was very expensive we spent upwards of four thousand dollars on plants so it, it was very expensive it makes the backyard look more beautiful and hopefully we can recuperate the money by by renting out the pool right now we're really not advertising with friends and relatives because the the restrooms are not ready we don't want to have people come inside our house we already rented it once to a, a relative we only rented it for 200 dollars since the restrooms weren't available i mean it's gonna be a good side income a good, a good side hustle and, and it's good because sometimes the pool we don't even use it and so if we're not using it might as well have somebody enjoy it and, and maybe we can make a few bucks uh, on it that's all i have to say on this video guys i have a lot of updating to do i bought and sold another property i bought it and sold it within two or three days i'll make another video on that the store has been doing good not as good as i, as I would wish the meat market it hasn't been what i what i was expecting to be honest right now i only have one butcher the evening butcher quit he didn't want to follow orders basically so uh we got rid of him and right now i'm i'm down to one butcher and i think i'm gonna stay this way until the, the meat market starts picking up and right now i'm just using a cashier to to dispatch at at night um, the morning butcher does everything like all the cutting all the ordering everything and the night cashier helps dispatch the customers only so 
Uh, right right now I'm, I'm playing it like that once it starts picking up if i need another butcher I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and hire somebody else hopefully it starts picking up i'm thinking about a half an acre that they're, that they're selling me hopefully to do a, a swimming pool and do it commercial it's on, it's on the outskirts of laredo that's another video that i'm gonna make i'm very thankful because i haven't uploaded and the subscribers have been have been increasing uh, i think we're up to 180 subscribers so i'm very I'm, I'm really excited about that i know that the a thousand subscribers is around the corner i'm gonna keep uh, uploading i'm gonna keep hustling i also want to make another video because we hit the million dollar net worth i think a, a month or two ago so we're really excited about that also i don't know if i want to change my channel to millionaire in the making to making millionaires because now it's gonna be my job to get all my audience into million dollar net worth status thanks a lot guys if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below my personal email is in the channel if you guys have any questions you can also email me with with more private questions uh, i'm always here to help thanks a lot guys peace god bless